Out of the over 231,000 cases reported, the 2022 police crime report said over 103,000 were submitted to the DPP. And of those, 68,405 cases were sanctioned and taken to court and 57,506 are pending in court. This means there are over 35,000 cases pending at the directorate in just one year and of those pending in court, part of the reasons is that the state is still investigating. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions has a mandate to direct police on investigations, a huge role in the criminal justice system. Clearly, even our colleagues in the justice chain have a long way to go. We have to work together on this. Yes, we have done our part despite our challenges, but we have pushed a number of cases to DPP's office. We have pushed a number of them to court, as illustrated by that summary. So our interest is to have a fair conversation. Justice Jane Frances Abodo revealed that her office is grossly understaffed at 41%. It all goes to having an ideal situation where the office of the DPP is well resourced. In a station where there are two judicial officers, we actually have four prosecutors. But the situation on the ground is that we have one prosecutor for five judicial officers one prosecutor appearing before five judicial officers. What does that mean? Inefficiency. Total, total inefficiency. Compared with the other three institutions in the justice law and order sector, the office of the DPP is arguably trailing with just 89 billion shillings allocated to it each financial year. The least paid prosecutor takes home 3 million shillings every month with all the bribery temptations involved in the cases they handle. Justice Abodo wants a progressive budgetary increase of at least 12 billion shillings annually to be able to equip the office to especially match modern technology. What we are trying to say is that if you are strengthening police, you should be able to balance it and strengthen also the office of the DPP and strengthen also judiciary and prisons. We just want the basic. I know our structure is 836 and we have only 306. I am just saying, if every financial year the DPP's office is facilitated, even just to recruit six state attorneys, I'm not saying I want all the 500 at a go. I'm just saying 60, or even let me go lower, 40 per financial year. It will, it will, it will make a difference. Partly to blame for collapse of cases is unwillingness by witnesses to testify in court, which he says her office is trying to deal with through community engagement mechanisms. Because sometimes you read a file, it's a very good file. The witnesses have made statements, you, you have exhibits, and then they don't appear, they don't come to testify. You are there in court telling the, the judicial officer, please give me more time, I am still pressing for my witnesses. And they just say, we don't want to come. What do you do with such a case? The president has already met leaders of the directorate to discuss budget enhancement, but it's not clear when that money will come. Edward Mhumza, NTV. Thank you so much. Thank you. Eh?